Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown. I'm Nath. This is Johnny. <clears throat> is your arm numb now? Yeah, you're a dickhead. Today we're checking out the brand new track from Siamese Numb. The boys from Siamese have been kind enough to give us this one early, so it will have just dropped by the time we release this video. This is a lyric video. Um, this is possibly going to be the last big single they release before the album comes out too. Yeah, they have just, just wrapped up the album. It's super exciting. Coming very soon, yeah. Um, we do again want to thank these guys for um, letting us do things like this. It, it means a lot and we really hope that it helps them out. So if you guys could, please, if you're not following Siamese, go check them out, give them a follow, share some of their music and um, let them know that you found them through us. In the last year, two of my top 10 most listened songs were Siamese, and then number 11 was also Siamese. So three songs off their brand new album have been in my top like 11 most listened to songs of the year. That should give you an indication of how much we like them. We're going to jump into this one now. If you guys want to like, subscribe, look at Johnny's chest. <laughs> it's so manly. <laughs> I'm excited. Dude, so excited. I fucking love this band. Three, two, one. Instantly getting like architects oh. sound there. Yeah, it just makes me want to air hump. I hate when you do that. Yeah. We will take it back. Our boys got some screams. Yeah, yeah. So when we spoke to the boys a little while back, um, they mentioned that this song's the first, or well, this album is the first time they've gone back to like the heavier vocal style they did earlier in their career. It's cool hearing that come in a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, they were saying that it had been quite a few years since they'd done the screaming thing. Mm. Uh, we heard it on home, but obviously they had Drew from Straight from the Path featuring there. Um, but hey, for what it's worth, you sound fantastic. Really enjoying it. Also, if you guys haven't checked out that interview we did with them, it was a good time, fun chat. Go check it out. A good time, fun chat. Take it time. back to the 45 second mark here. Let's go. Strings. Beautiful. Really liking that almost electronic element, element behind to this it, one yeah. that we haven't really heard previously. Also, I didn't mention at the time, but now I will. The end of that chorus, how it slips straight into back into the second verse there. I was expecting the riff to come back in. I was going to say either that or I think that's going to lend itself super well to a breakdown. At the end, I feel like that would sound... Oh! But the loudest it has ever been So if tonight the world ends, would I even notice? It don't feel the rain when it is pouring every day. So if tonight the world ends, would I know the difference? Who oh, can you tell me it's becoming now my sin? Cause I don't feel a thing. So I want to talk about the chorus, the vocals in relation to the other songs that they've released. His vocals were much sort of more sort of, I guess, like uh, bigger, like, you know, like pushed louder, higher range sort of thing. This one is sitting back in that that comfortable sort of mid-range and it it works super well. It allows for really digestible lyrical content. 100%. But the dude's just got like 
such a beautiful voice, such a great voice to listen to. Yeah, it does. And like we've spoken about before with pop sensibilities, um, Andreas works a lot with pop music. Um, and it just comes through so well. It's just seamless, flawless yeah. uh, interjection of that style into heavy music. It's great. I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? I was cooling myself down. <laughs> but I actually didn't realise my cup was empty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not so empty. Wasn't that empty? Oh, you're an idiot. Fuck. Hey, call that. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, you did. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, it actually had real vocal similarities to Drew. As For well. sure. Like, For you sure. actually heard that his scream in that bit there kind of hit that sort of same register tone. Absolutely. Um, and I like those tasty, tasty deep ones that were hidden in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loving this. Unless it's coming out of your cup. So if tonight the world That was sick. That was so good. Yeah. We've been impressed by everything that this band has done. Um, Literally. And it's just, this it just shows how much they have in their wheelhouse. They're just such a great band. They're just so fucking talented. And just, every song we listen to is like just a huge sonic experience. The production is so damn good. I think that it's so that good. is what sets this band apart from others is the level of production on the last album and here mm. is just a cut above anyone else doing yeah. anything remotely similar to that. Yeah, it's just so great. He has a range in his vocals that is unparalleled. It is, it is beautiful and has all those like R&B-esque tone. But it doesn't go too far. Yeah, yeah, he hits... Like, there, there are bands, we talked about that before, that have those, like, Johnny Craig-esque stuff, which for me, it's amazing, but... It... <laughs> On every word? No, they're, they're very good. Oh. Um, but uh, it goes... A little bit goes a long way, whereas here, I feel like he holds it in a way that allows it to be stunning and progressive and show it off while still bringing it back to the music and about the song and without making that the standout instrument, it all like, ties in together so well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And the again, testament to the songwriting because the songwriting needs to allow that to happen. It needs to allow the vocalist to be able to do that and bring all those influences in without taking away from the music, yeah. but also without it sounding forced. Like, those guitar riffs were... Absolutely crushingly huge. Crushingly. Crushingly huge. huge. Like my heart. Shut the fire out. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like those riffs were so big, but there was enough space for the vocals to do their job. Um, drummer was on point. I loved the strings in the background. Yeah. They yeah. were super tasteful. Worked so well. That was, boys, well done. You know we love you. We're a little bit biased. What did you guys think of the song? If you don't agree with us, get the fuck off our channel. Uh, <laughs> no, we are in discussion. But I stand by that. I don't think there is anything there to disagree with. I genuinely think this is a band that, big shout out to Jam, we say it every time, who brought it to our attention. This is probably the first time in a long time I found a band that I cannot fault. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And 
I've said it a million times about finding bands that are that are perfect to show people who aren't necessarily into heavy music. Show me a better band to to show fans who aren't you know into heavy music something that they can grab onto with those pop sensibilities, with that like just beautiful melodic sound, incredible production, but not being too abrasive or too much. Show me a better band for it. I can't do it. Exactly, he I can't won't. do it, and don't even try to do it. That's it from us today. Hope you guys liked the track. As we said, comment below let us know your thoughts. Uh, if you want to support us and our merchandise, bow. This, this shirt's a misprint, by the way. I printed this one way too big. It's actually smaller in person. It fits the body. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> it fits the body. The body.